Hi everyone, so I'm back and um, I just finished doing a video on mixing medium and now I'm going to do one on how to make your own homemade primer. Um, there have been many people who have already done this. I kind of wanted to do one uh, for my subscribers. So um, this is just something that you can do with a couple of your products. Uh, all you need pretty much is foundation and body butter. Um, a container to put your primer in and a little spatula spoon of uh, you know, Q-tip or something just kind of to mix it to all together. So, I'm going to bring you guys down here. And what I'm going to take is one part body butter. And you can put as little or as much as you want. I'm going to set that to the side. And then I'm going to take some Wet n Wild foundation. Okay, come on, anytime now. So I'm going to make sure it has a little bit of that in there. So this is what you're going to have. Then I'm going to take the little spoon and just mix it. And put a little towel. I don't want it to spill everywhere. Because it can get messy. And I would recommend to maybe... um mix it with a toothpick simply because um, it'll be easier for you to mix. So I want to make sure that I get all that primer in there. And as you can see, that's what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to take some of this primer and just apply it on my hand here. And I'm just applying it on this section simply because on the other section I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I want you guys to see the difference. So I'm going to take some Urban Decay and apply it. I've applied my primer here. I'm going to apply the Urban Decay over here. So I'm going to apply now um, the eyeshadow. I'm going to take um, my MAC Royal Assets and I'm going to take um, this burgundy color right here on my brush and this I'm going to brush it first on the Urban Decay closer. Then I'm going to brush it where there is no primer and then I'm going to brush it where my primer is. Now we'll try a different color for you guys. So you guys can see this down here is Urban Decay, this right here is no primer, and this right here is my primer potion. So as you can see, my primer potion actually makes the color pop even more than Urban Decay. I'm going to try a different color now so that you guys can just, um, you know, in case that, that color was just different, I'm going to try a different color. So I'm just going to wipe off my hand. 
and I'm going to take, um, I'm not going to use MAC Cosmetics, I'm going to use a cheaper brand of cosmetics just to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to use um, this Wet n Wild Little Palette Duo. And again, I'm going to wipe off. I'm going to take my primer potion and apply it there. Just blend it in. And then I'm going to take Urban Decay's primer potion over here. and blend that in and I'm gonna take this light purple color right there and I'm gonna apply it first where there is no primer potion then I'm gonna apply it where the Urban Decay primer potion is And then I'm going to apply it where my primer potion is. So as you can see, the lighter, the lighter shade is the one in the middle, which there's no primer potion. The top is mine and the bottom is Urban Decay. The top and bottom look somewhat similar. So as you can see guys, there's no difference in Urban Decay Primer Potion as to making your own your own Primer Potion at home. Um, I definitely recommend it. Look how much product you can get. It's just a cool, um, cheap way to do your own primer and save a couple bucks. And I mean, at the same time, you already have these products at home. Like who doesn't have liquid foundation and who doesn't have a body butter laying around in their house? So you don't need to purchase anything, you just need a little jar. And then you close up your little jar. And voila, your primer potion is ready to go. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope that you rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, find this as a helpful tip um, to just saving a couple bucks. So thanks for watching, bye.